हेलो गाइस, आई एम सुदर्शन आई एम थर्ड ईयर एम स्टूडेंट एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज माओकार्डियल इन्फ्रैक्शन का ड्रग ट्रीटमेंट या फिर ड्रग मैनेजमेंट ओके सो व्हाट आर द क्वेश्चंस दैट विल बी आस्क इन योर एग्जाम्स रिगार्डिंग माओकार्डियल इन्फ्रैक्शन दे विल आस्क यू माओकार्डियल इन्फ्रैक्शन एज अ शॉर्ट नोट और एज अ सब क्वेश्चन इन एल लाइक डिस्क्राइब ड्रग्स फॉर कंजेस्टिव हार्ट फेल्यूअर एंड ऑल्सो एड अ शॉर्ट नोट ऑन माओकार्डियल इन्फ्रैक्शन ओके so we will go one by one first of all they will ask you definition and the drug management okay first of all definition it is an ischemic necrosis of a portion of myocardium due to sudden occlusion of a branch of coronary artery so basically it is a ischemic necrosis due to sudden occlusion of a branch of coronary artery okay so the most common cause for the myocardial infarction is an acute thrombus at the site of atherosclerotic obstruction it is a usual cause for this myocardial infarction okay next uh, point is drug management this is the most important point so i have made a trick for this the trick is sanu sara bai okay sanu sara bai so s for statins a for antiplatelet drugs n for nitrates o for oxygen therapy this is the low perfusion oxygen therapy s for sodium bicarbonate A for analgesics, R for reperfusion therapy, and uh, the Sara Bai. So A for next A for antiemetics, B for beta blockers, and uh, A I for A C inhibitors. Okay. So now the next point uh, we will describe this one by one. Let me address this. Okay. So first of all statins. Example is atorvastatin, uh, like atorvastatin, uh, to reduce the thrombotic events and reinfarction. It is used, and uh, antiplatelet agent. Th- this is aspirin, 162 mg or 325 mg, orally given at once, and uh, continue once daily. So, सबसे पहले myocardial infarction का patient आया, तो उसको सबसे पहले aspirin देते हैं. ठीक है एंड इन केस ऑफ एस्पिरिन एलर्जिक्स मतलब कुछ कुछ लोगों में एस्पिरिन की एलर्जी हो सकती है तो उनको क्लॉपी डोग्रेल देंगे हम 300 हंड्रेड एम जी ओके नेक्स्ट इज एन फॉर नाइट्रेट्स इंट्राविनस नाइट्रोग्लिसरिन इज गिवन फॉर रिकरेंट और परसिस्टेंट पेन एंड टू ट्रीट द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर फेल्यूर एल यू फेल्यूर मीन्स लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर फेल्यूर The next point is O for oxygen therapy or low perfusion oxygen therapy. In this, two to four liter per minute oxygen is ad- administered. Okay. So next is S for sodium bicarbonate. It is given intravenously. It is given to treat the acidosis, and the acidosis is due to the lactic acid formation in this condition. Okay. Then A for analgesics. In analgesics, intravenous morphine 10 mg is given for the relief of pain. Analgesics means pain relievers. So in this condition, the main feature is pain. Okay. So a morphine is given for the relief of pain. Then R for reperfusion therapy. In this condition, PCI technique or thrombolytic therapy is given. Okay. uh this is then thrombolytic in th- thrombolytic therapy streptokinase alteplase retiplase etc are given uh, to u- uh, are used to restore the coronary patency and reperfusion in the thrombolytic therapy the most important drug here is streptokinase the next point is okay a for antiemetics a for antiemetics in this uh, promethazine 25 to 50 mg slow intravenously given to prevent the opioid induced vomiting opioid means uh, the morphine which has been given okay so to prevent this opioid induced vomiting we give promethazine 25 to 50 mg to the patient b for beta blockers they should be administered during first 24 hours unless they are contraindicated okay so within 24 hours we should give beta blockers 
for uh, to reduce the mortality uh, they are given to prevent reinfarction arrhythmias and reduce mortality okay then ai for ac inhibitors the example of ac inhibitors is ramipril captopril etc or arbs like angiotensin receptor blockers the example for this is valsartan cosartan okay so they are administered early to improve the survival rate in the myocardial infarction cases so thank you for watching and if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends